guys i hope you're having a great start to your day or whenever you're watching this welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i am a full-time illustrator i just went full-time with my business in november of 2022 and so in this youtube series i am taking you on a journey with me for my first week of basically just working for myself full time. So I've been doing day in the life uploads every single day this week. Um, and this is the last one. It's Friday. Uh, I can't believe it's already Friday. Like it's almost the weekend. I almost, almost done with my first full week of being a small business owner full time. It's still really weird for me to say that. Um, but I am in my house right now. I just dropped off my little Dolly at her obedience school she's my dog if you're new here and she is currently in like puppy training and she's doing such a good job and i think today is going to be a coffee shop day i wanted to make sure that today i had most client work done so that i can focus on things just for my marketing and my business i've got a couple of projects like really quick things i need to finish up i've got two social posts to design for a client and then i need to submit a final draft to a client for that project that i was telling you guys about in my last video that i was really nervous about so pray for me I'm, I'm a little scared to submit it but it has to be done so i'm going to head over to a local coffee shop for the day and just drink some coffee and get things done and have a good time because i love this job and it's way too much fun. <laughs> The day that I had at the coffee shop today honestly could not have been better. I had so much fun just sitting down in a cozy little corner. The coffee shop was all decked out for the holidays and for Christmas and it was just so cozy to be able to sit down and enjoy illustrating and I know I've said this a couple times during this video series of a week in my life as a full-time business owner but it's really hard for me to believe that I'm getting to do something this fun um, and this creative as a full-time career. And some of the clients I love working with the most and creating things for the most are the other small businesses that I get to work with because it's their baby. It's their, their dream. And for me to be able to come alongside them and help them create visuals that are going to, you know, increase their brand awareness, increase their social media presence. Um, just being able to create visuals that are going to bring their dreams to life, their visions to life. I know how important it is and, and how much you invest into your small business. And so I feel like I can really relate to a lot of my clients because I know how big of a deal it is to you know, really go after your dreams. So all that to say, it's just really important and special for me to get to work with other small businesses and help bring dreams to life for them through the power of illustration, creativity, and artwork, and just seeing how it resonates with other people and seeing the response that they get from their audience when they share something that I've had the privilege of creating for them. Just really means the world to me and I was reflecting on that a lot during this time at the coffee shop today and it was just a really special time for me and I was thinking about little me and I've always been an artistic person I've always loved creativity but I think if you would have told me back then when I was an elementary student or a middle school student or even a high school student I think if you would have told me that this is what I'd be getting to do full-time someday I I don't know if I would have believed you. It's just, I know that's so cliche to say it, but I just couldn't help but think while I was at this coffee shop that I was like, this is really crazy that this is happening. And a lot of hard work in, went into it. And I just, I don't, I just, I have no words. I just feel so grateful and beyond blessed and excited to continue on in this journey. 
And this particular day was such a great day for a lot of different reasons, but also because my mom actually ended up coming to the coffee shop and surprising me. And it was just so sweet to look up from my iPad and there she was standing right in front of me and she got to sit down with me and we got to chat for a while. And it was just like, oh, I'm so thankful to be close by to my family and to be able to see them when I want and it was so sweet of her to stop by and surprise me with a little visit during my work day and it was just fun I don't know I love being in a coffee shop because there's always something interesting happening in the conversations around you and yes I 100% will eavesdrop if somebody is speaking loudly enough um, I am that person and I'm not ashamed I it's human nature uh, but anyways I also spent a lot of time working on my marketing for next week as I mentioned so I use Notion for like everything in my business now and I will be giving you guys a full-on tour of my Notion platform and just how I've organized everything but I used it to kind of plan out my content calendar for the very next week and I just wanted to get, get all of that done and make sure that I knew you know exactly what I'm going to be posting the following week and then I also created a couple of illustrations that I plan to be sharing next week as well. I figured I'd go ahead and get a head start on creating those so that I have the captions and the artwork ready to go so that I can schedule it and get it ready to go out. And then that's one last thing that I have to worry about next week, but it was really fun to work on that while I was in the coffee shop today. Okay, so I just got back from the coffee shop after being there since this morning, whenever it was that I left. Oh, it's 3.45 right now, and honestly, I think I might just call it a day. I have great news though. The project that I was super, super nervous about, I was like so scared when I sent it over. I was like, like I just, uh, I was really nervous about sending over that final artwork because I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. Um, but it turned out that she ended up liking it and we've just got some edits that we need to go over. But like, I was just so worried that it was gonna be like, this is horrible. Like, I just, I don't know. I was really, really afraid for how that was gonna turn out, but it ended up being okay. And we're just gonna keep refining it and make it look the best it can possibly look. Um, and I had a great time at the coffee shop. I had a caramel brulee latte. Um, it was kind of awkward though, like trying to film things in the coffee shop. I tried to film some stuff uh, for this YouTube video because I literally spent my whole day there, but it was a little awkward. Um, it wasn't awkward like when the coffee shop wasn't busy, but when it was busy, I could tell people were like, what is she doing? And I'm like, I have to do this for the content. And there was an older man that like, I had my noise canceling headphones in and there was an older gentleman i had my camera on this little tripod thing that it's on right now and he was like saying something to me and laughing and i i had my headphones in and i was like ah, yeah i was just like i do not know what is going on but i knew i knew in my spirit i was like somebody is gonna say something to me at some point while i'm here and lo and behold they did so i don't know man having a camera out in public is very uncomfortable but I did it so I hope y'all really enjoyed that because it was very uncomfy for me to do um, but basically while I was there I got like all of my marketing for the next week planned out between like Instagram Pinterest got all my Pinterest stuff scheduled and TikTok. I'm really trying to be more active on like all channels right now because you can't put all of your eggs in one basket and Instagram is obviously where I've put most of my eggs for a very long time and so I've you know built up this following there but not necessarily in other places. I've put a lot of effort into my email list uh, in the last year or so because I know how important it is to have not only the Instagram but to have the email list because you can have more control over the email list than you can over Instagram and story for another time but my Instagram has been deleted before by Instagram it's happened um, I got it back but it has happened but if you want a story time on that though put it in the comments below let me know if you're, you're curious about my Instagram getting deleted story it was horrifying it happened at like 40,000 followers and I was like it was awful um so anyways yeah, so I'm trying to be more active on other platforms and so that's why I'm kind of like trying to schedule things out as much as I can, plan content as much as I can. And then I also sent out a weekly recap for my email list subscribers. Um, if you wanna to subscribe to that, be part of the email list, you can get access to that in the description of this video. Um, I love sending 
fun things on my email list to my subscribers so definitely check that out if you want to get more business tips, freebies, discount codes for my website. Be the first to know about any exciting updates that I have, literally all of it. Um, I love my email list people, so feel free to join me there if you ever want to. But now I am going to go with my husband to go pick up Dolly. She has been learning so much and doing such a great job, as I've said throughout these videos. But we're gonna go pick her up, and then tonight we are going to get Mexican food, and I, oh, I can't wait. I'm like, I need a Vester Pib, I need queso, I need chips, I need salsa, and then basically everything on the menu is what I need. I just am like, I'm ready for some dinner. I really did not eat much today, but I'm gonna be eating a lot at dinner tonight because I am hungry, I'm so hungry. I'm happy that I'm kind of ending things around four o'clock because what I really, really want for my Friday schedules is I want to end the day early because I can. And yeah, I wanna do what I did today, which is kind of like focus on next week and marketing for all of that. So my husband just, we've gotta go. We have to go get Dolly. So I'm gonna end it here for now. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. And I might not end it here because maybe I'll show you Dolly because she is the star of the show in my heart. And I feel like she's made an appearance in every video. So why stop now? Dolly. Yes, such a good girl. No, get down. Dolly, Dolly, come here. Can you sit? Daycare. 